hi girls now we are going to see about gravitational field and gravitational potential in general the gravitational field refers any area around that particular mass uh, usually called as gravitational field and force is due to interaction between two particles and so here we are having two types of forces contact forces and non contact forces from the name itself you can understand contact force means uh, we are having physical contact with the uh, object whereas no, uh, non contact forces means there is no physical contact between the two bodies and so here uh, suppose if we see sun and planet there is some attractional force be between sun and planet and this is example for non contact forces and so the movement of the object uh, suppose if the planet revolves around the sun it is due to the physical force exerted through the contact between the object and the agent which exerts force but here there is no such uh, interaction between sun and planet so this is example for non contact forces and so here uh, when you take uh, the earth is not physically in contact with each other so there exists an interaction the, between them and so here earth despite being very far from it without touching it and this ex ex experience a pull towards the sun so this is example for non contact forces and so here f2 when vector is the force exerted by the first body on the second body and g you know gravitational constant m1 m2 are the masses and r is the distance between them and r vector is a r cap is a unit vector that points from m1 to m2 along the line joining the masses m1 and m2 so in such a case you can say f21 vector is equal to minus g m1 m2 by r square into r cap here the negative sign is because the force is attractive one so you should give negative sign for this and so here in general you can define gravitational field as you start from the definition from the gravitational force experienced by unit mass placed at that point that is the proper definition for gravitational field intensity so it is the force experienced by unit mass placed at that point so you can write the ratio f2 when vector by m2 because m2 is the mass of the object on which this force acts so here e1 vector is equal to f21 vector by m2 so m2 and m2 get cancelled so you can write e1 vector is equal to minus g m1 by r square into r cap and so you can in general you can write this uh, equation as e vector is equal to minus g m by r square into r cap here we are replacing the small m with capital m and here you see there is a big mass m and you consider a very small mass at a distance r from this big mass and what is e vector e vector is electric field intensity vector and it is from the small mass to the capital mass because there is attractive force between the two masses and so here f vector is equal to me vector because you know f is equal to me according to newton's second law so in such a case you are having fm vector is equal to me vector so equating both of them you will get me vector is equal to me vector so a vector is equal to e vector so from this you can understand that the electric field intensity is nothing but the acceleration that is experienced that is a main point here and so here when you take a vector and v vector there are separate physical quantities but have the same magnitude and direction so both a vector and e vector are having same magnitude and direction but they are two separate physical quantities and next we are going to see about some points about this gravitational field and so here when you see the diagram uh, p q r are the points have taken and p is far away from this mass and the electric field intensity at p is lesser than q and the electric field intensity at q is lesser than r and the length of the vectors from this uh, you can understand that the electric field intensity is small at p because when you compare the length also it will decrease when you move from the mass m and so here the main point is the strength of the gravitational field decreases 
as we move away from the mass m that is the main point and so here you can say that ep vector less than eq vector less than er vector and you can compare the length of the vectors at points p q and, and r so the field is actually the gravitational interaction and also it is carries energy and momentum and the unit of gravitational field is newton per kilogram that is the force per unit mass or you can in the concept of acceleration you can give the unit as ms power minus 2 which is a unit for acceleration next we are going to see about superposition principle for gravitational field and here we are having m1 m2 m3 uh, up to mn masses there are n number of particles and their distances are r1 vector r2 vector r3 vector then how can you find out the resultant the resultant is given by the vector sum of gravitational field due to individual masses and this principle is known as superposition of gravitational fields and so here e total vector is equal to e1 vector plus e2 vector plus up to en vector and you can substitute that and this can be written as sigma i is equal to 1 to n g m i r i square g i m i divided by r i square r i cap and so i can be substituted from n to n and usually the negative sign is given for attractive forces and so this is about superposition principle next we are going to see about gravitational potential energy and usually gravitational force is a conservative force and so here when you see this diagram there are two masses m1 and initially m2 is at a distance r and now this uh, r is increased to r dash that is you are um, making m2 to move away from m1 for that you have to do some work against attractive force and here in this diagram initially they are at a distance of r dash and you are moving m2 to a distance r that is you are increasing the distance and here in both of the cases you have to do some work to move the point mass from r vector to r vector plus dr vector so some work has to be done externally to move the point mass in such a case usually what is work done work done is force into distance so here dw that is a very small work infinitesimal work infinitesimal work means very very small work so dw is equal to f external vector dot dr vector and already you know this external force is nothing but gravitational force so when you compare the magnitudes you can remove the negative sign so g m1 m2 by r square substituting that dw is equal to g m1 m2 by r square into r cap dot dr vector and already you know dr vector is equal to dr into r cap so you can substitute instead of dr vector in the previous equation dr into r cap but what is r cap into r cap that is equal to 1 because they are dot products so r cap dot r cap will become 1 so dw is equal to g m1 m2 by r square into dr and so here the total work done this is a very small work done when you consider the total work done w is equal to integral r dash to r dw that are that is the body is bought from the distance r dash to r so the initial distance is r dash then it is uh, moved to a distance of r so r dash to r g m1 m2 by r square into dr and so here what is integral 1 by r square dr that is equal to minus 1 by r according to integration so you can substitute w is equal to minus g m1 m2 by r the limits are from r dash to r first we have integrated this equation and then you are substituting the upper limit minus lower limit so when you substitute the upper limit minus g1 m2 g m1 m2 by r and substituting the lower limit minus of minus will become plus so g m1 m2 by r cap so r dash so here the first term can be taken as u of r and the second term can can be taken as u of r dash so u r minus u r dash and so here where u r is nothing but minus g m1 m2 by r 
so only the distance is varying one is at a distance r and the other is at a distance of r dash and so here there are two cases we are going to consider in the first case r is less than r dash so when you see this diagram r is less than r dash in the second diagram r is greater than r dash so here the body is bought from the distance uh, r to r dash and here the it is uh, bought in the opposite direction so here in the first case the work is done by the system spending its internal energy that is uh, the body is moved from this r dash to r for that it has to spend some energy so in such a case the internal energy is spent whereas if r is greater than r dash that is when you consider the second diagram where r is greater than r dash here the work is done on the body by external force and here the work done is positive so here work done is on the body so you have to take this as positive and suppose if r dash is equal to infinity that is you are bringing the mass from infinity then the second term of this equation will become zero because r dash is equal to infinity so w is equal to minus g m1 m2 by r and this is nothing but gravitational potential energy and so how can you define gravitational potential energy now so gravitational potential energy is defined as so you can uh, write this equation work done amount of work done to take the mass so here you can define gravitational potential energy as the amount of work done to take the mass m2 from a distance r2 to infinity that is you are moving the mass from a distance r to infinity so you can uh, write this as u of r is equal to minus g m1 m2 by r so this is the equation for gravitational potential energy here the gravitational potential energy is always negative because the two masses are coming together slowly from infinity work is done by the system so you have to use negative sign and the unit of gravitational potential energy since it is energy you are having the unit as joule and it is also a scalar quantity and next we are going to see about gravitational potential energy near the surface of the earth so for this you consider uh, this is the surf, uh, earth and the body is at the height h above the surface of the earth and the capital r is the radius of the earth and small r is the distance between the center of the earth and the object object and so here now what is u u is equal to minus g m e m by r here m e refers mass of the earth and small m is the mass of the object and r is r e plus h so this is the potential energy and so this potential energy is usually given the negative sign since r is equal to r e plus h you can substitute that here here h is very very less than r e and so here u is equal to minus g m e by m here r e is taken outside so in this equation in the denominator r e is taken outside so r e of 1 plus h by r e then this 1 plus h r e when it goes to numerator the power becomes minus 1 and you have to use binomial expansion and neglecting the higher order terms so the minus 1 uh, the equation becomes now minus g m e m by r e is equal to into 1 minus h by r e so here the plus becomes a minus after using the binomial expansion and so here you know already f is equal to m a and the work done is force into distance so this uh, equation becomes g m e m by r e is equal to m g r e where m g r e is the uh, work done work done is usually force into distance so m g into r e so instead of this expression uh, minus g m e m by r e you can substitute m g r r e so minus m g r e into 1 minus h by r e and so here the first term becomes minus m g r e and in the second term r e r e get cancelled so you will get plus m g h so u is equal to now minus m g r e plus m g h and from this you can show that the first term is independent of the height because there is no h in the first term 
suppose if you consider two heights h1 and h2 the potential energy at height h1 is u h1 is equal to mg minus mg or e plus mg h1 similarly you can write u h2 this is this is potential energy at a height h2 when you subtract both of this this mg or e get cancelled so you will get mg into h2 minus h1 and so here the term mg or e in uh, equation ha have no result because uh, plays no role because it does not contain any height so the first term can be omitted or taken to zero so you can write u is equal to mg h so on the surface of the earth the potential energy is zero because h is equal to zero because the object is on the surface of the earth and so next we are going to see about um, so the work done is stored as gravitational potential energy in the mass m suppose if you take the mass from the surface of the earth to a height h so some work is done this work done is stored as gravitational potential energy in the mass m next you are going to see about gravitational potential and this is a scalar quantity and it depends only on the source mass and so here gravitational potential here there is no energy only gravitational potential it is defined as the amount of work required to bring unit mass from infinity to the distance r and it is denoted by v of r and so here ur is potential energy whereas vr is potential so there is difference between potential energy and potential and here the unit is joule per kg and so here when you consider the second mass m2 is equal to unity that is you are bringing unit mass from infinity to that point so you have to take m2 as 1 so this in this equation minus g m1 m2 by r m2 will become 1 so such a case v of r is equal to minus g m by r so this is nothing but the potential so potential is different from potential energy usually potential energy is given the symbol u and whereas potential is given by the symbol v so v refers gravitational potential and so here in general you can write the potential as minus gm by r and suppose if we take an apple which falls on earth due to gravitational force and so here the apple is at a distance h above the surface of the earth and so now we are going to see about force picture so here the first is force picture in which gravity pulls downwards and in this this is potential picture so at a height h it is having higher gravitational potential and on the surface of the earth it is having lower gravitational potential so the apple will move from higher gravitational potential to lower gravitational potential that we are going to see now and so here v of r where r is equal to capital r plus h here r is radius of the earth and h is height of the object above the surface of the earth so you can substitute minus gme by instead of r you can write r plus h whereas when you substitute r is equal to capital r because uh, object is on the surface of the earth so minus gme by r so definitely the first equation is having higher potential than the second one so the apple will fall from the higher potential to lower potential that is the main thing you have to understand so here v of h is nothing but u of h by m so when you divide potential energy by mass you will get potential which is equal to gh so the mass usually will move from a region of higher potential to a region of lower gravitational potential that is the main concept so hope you understand girls